psoas and ilio psoas. I work on the hind end, which we're starting with the gluteals. We have the superficial gluteal muscle, we have the medial, and we have the deep. Yes. And so I'm going to start working, warming the muscles up again. I use my knobble because he does like deep tissue work. And so we'll just see how deep we can get. But he is an Appaloosa and they are a sturdier breed in general. They have good feet, usually. They have tougher, just their, they're a tougher horse compared to say like a thoroughbred or something like that. So I have to use a little bit more muscle. So I'm working on these glute muscles, finding anything. I'm not really finding anything, honestly. But I might, as I go down the hind end, Going into the tensor fascia latte. Go right here, it's coming here. We have the biceps femoris that comes down here. Tensor fascia latte. And all super good, super healthy. That doesn't mean I don't massage him. This is the full body massage. And now we're going into the quad muscles. And we're getting some licking and chewing. And a good sigh. It's all super good release this. Good boy. Good. There we go. Good boy. So this quad muscles and the tensor fascia latte are the stabilizing muscles for the stifle. So if you don't have those all nice and relaxed and supple, you're going to have um, issues with your stifle. So when we have um, relaxation there, we have really healthy knees or healthy stifles. He feels pretty good and he's enjoying this. <laughs> So now I'm working on the inner thigh muscles. The gracilis is the bulge muscle. And of course you can't see it because that's on the inner thigh. But it's actually stretching out this stifle area, which is good. And I like to do some deep tissue therapy in there. Get him to release. Good boy. flying all over the place. So, how's that? So, I'm gonna go to the hamstring muscles. The outer ones are the, the inner one actually. Closest to the tail is the semimembranosus. And it goes all the way down here. Where my hand is, right here, all this area. And then the semitendinosus. And that comes down. Those hamstring muscles are super important for bringing the leg underneath themselves. Stepping underneath. If you have tension there or muscle spasms, they just, they just don't work properly. So we want them to be happy and healthy as well as making sure that hock is stabilized. And did you see how he switched his weight? put more weight on this side so that's a good sign he's accepting the massage here yeah that's it. Oh boy all those things we also have the flat muscle on the um, inside leg and it's the sartorius that comes up close to the private area and then we have the deep flexor muscle that comes down on the other side of this, on the other side of that bulge right here. Good boy. 
Also stretches on the other side. Oh, dear good boy. Yeah, so he stepped into it, so he likes it. Very good. And then I'm gonna go up with his tail. Let's see if he likes that. We'll see about that. Oh, you're such a good boy. So stretching out that tail is really stretching out the muscles along the spine which we talked about the iliocostal muscles that go along the spine. So he's very happy right now. He's really good. I'm also going to pull the tail to the other side. And again, doing the same kind of thing, but it's always good to do both sides. Good boy. As a wrap up, this is Mel Hitchcock with Mel's Equestrian Services. I love to help you and your horse succeed through equine massage, professional body clipping, and dressage training. You can find me on my website at melsequestrianservices.com as well as Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Mel's Equestrian Services. I hope you take a look and have a wonderful day.